Hi, just a quick one. Um, I was going to be doing this properly, um, sorry, correctly. That's proper grammar, isn't it? Um, it's the Journal of the Optical Society of America, the Optics of Euclid. Um, I've done the first one here, figure one, in the last video. I'm just going to concentrate on the um, figure three now. I think I even did figure two, I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to concentrate on this one here. There's all these balls that keep saying, oh, well, how come I can't see New York from Ireland? Or well, how come I can't see England from, from, from America or stuff like that? You're not Superman. You haven't got telescopic eyes that come out and, you know what I mean, all that bollocks. Um... Let's just have a look at this one here. Every object seen has a certain limit of distance, and when this is reached, it is seen no longer. For let the eye be B, and let the object seen be GD. Right, so we're going to have a quick look at the diagram, figure 3. So let the eye be B, and the object seen GD. Yeah. Anything further than that, I say that GD placed at a certain distance will be seen no longer. For let GD lie midway in the divergence of the rays, at the limit of which is K. So none of the rays from B will fall upon K, and the thing upon which rays do not fall is not seen. And when this is reached, the object is seen no longer. Like I said before in the video, it doesn't matter which way the rays, light rays, they can either come into your eye or out of your eye, it doesn't change the geometry. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So like I said, every object seen has a certain limit of distance and when that is reached it's no longer seen. And we will have a look at the diagram. This one here. One in the middle, figure three. So basically let B be your eye and you're looking out, you will see as far as G D and because of the angle of resolution, the angle at what where, where what the light comes towards your eye or away from your eye, whichever way it doesn't really matter, the geometry's still the same. The angle that you're looking at, you will not see any further than GD. Yeah? Like K, you will not see. Although it's still level in front of you, you will not see it because it is out of the the angle of the light coming to your eye or away from your eye or whatever. Yeah? You will just not see it. So you can't see forever. There's a limit to your, to your vision. You can only see for a certain distance because of the angle of the light and everything else. Yeah, and that explains quite well that as, as you rise rise up, you can see further, because the angle of the, the the angle of light changes to to or from your eye. Yeah, so that explains it very well. On a level plane, right, and that's it for this one. I'm just going to do that one quickly. So here it is again. You have a quick read here. In the middle of the screen, there's that one. Um, that every object seen has a certain limit of distance, and when that that this this is reached, it is no longer seen. Yeah, just like figure three here in the middle. Um, I'm right. Do another one if I've got time now. Um, on figure four, which is. Of equal spaces located upon the same straight line, those seen from a greater distance appear shorter. So basically, that's just saying, uh, like, if you look down a really long, straight, level road, and you look at the street lights, basically, they're all the same distance apart, they're all in a straight line. The ones further away appear shorter, so they appear to get shorter as they get further away. That's just showing you that we already know this happens. We already know this, but this is this is the um, the maths behind it, the geometry behind it, your vision, how your how your eyes how your eyes perceive it that way. But we know that's not actually going on. We know they're all the same height all the way down the road. Yeah, and that's this one here, figure four. Wait a minute, figure four here in the middle. Yeah, this shows exactly what's going on. Um, like I said, of equal spaces located upon the same straight line, 
um, those seen from a greater distance appear shorter. So that basically, yeah, look, it's just explaining that, like the lampposts down a long straight road, appear to get shorter as they, as they get further away. And that's it for this one. Um, I'm going to go on to, uh, we'll have a look at figure five next time. Right, thank you. Goodbye.